Right, welcome to the very first episode of Maypole. Now this one's just going to be about being creative, building our own farm, and yeah, we're just going to get started on the cre uh, creation of what we are going to be expecting. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to access the, uh, the shop, and we're going to go down to chainsaws. And as you can see, we've got the start from zero mod, which gives you free chainsaws. And obviously we're not starting from zero, but I don't want to impose no budget. And let's just uh, cut our way through these. Now what this one has done, uh, I think this one removes all the brick walls, apart from the ones around your sheep pens. And as you can see, we've no longer got the wall around the shop. And then there's one over here. And this one is very obvious when it gets cut, and that gets rid of all of the hedges. Which I do like. I'd rather build my own. And then the last one. As you can see we've got all these oak trees. That are all decoration oak trees. We'll cut these. And that gets rid of all of them. Just makes the forestry work a bit easier for you. And we've blown two dollars. Well two euros from our budget. Right so. We're going to have a look at first of all farmland. And I think I might buy this one here. So if I get this, buy this one, buy this one, get this one, get this bit, get this bit, and we'll get this one, why not? How much money do we have? 1.8 million. Or 1.08 million. Right, so now that we've got the land, we have our budget. So we're going to start off small for obvious reasons. So let's have a look at our smaller tractors. So, I mean that John Deere, what's that one? 60 horsepower, it's still not good enough. I mean obviously looking in this one, but um, I mean that one's quite decent. That one's actually very decent. 24,000 for that one. Let's get the Fiat. Orange with rims, I like that. And then we'll set up, um, we just go with the regular wheels. Attaches, front hydraulic, yes. And it wouldn't be realistic to have GPS on a tractor like that, but 29,000 for that tractor. It's a pretty decent tractor, it's a decent sized engine. Like that sort of entwines with uh, medium sized tractors. Uh, this Fiat as well, 82 horsepower, so no. We get the Ford, maybe anything else. We're gonna go with old style equipment first. Uh, maybe that one. 150 horsepower without sealing, front weight, yes. <coughs> and GPS, no. So that one could potentially do the plowing work or the field creation work. Right, what, what else have we got? Because uh, I want something that would work as a front loader as well. Because I can't, I don't really fancy buying a front loader. So what is that one? 210 horsepower. 125 horsepower. So there's actually some pretty decent sized vehicles here. But I think I might go for the IMT. Can it be a front loader? No, what a shame. We can't go for that. I, I genuinely try to stick to free traps of fleets. I mean, that one's a bit ridiculous. 890 horsepower. Yeah, now we're venturing on the side of craziness. So I think... Can that one be a front word? Uh, let's try the case. Oh, so it had, can be a front loader. It's got the uh, quick console. And now let's just upgrade its engine. 179, so that's a decent size engine again. And then I'll just keep it like that, I guess. And then I think I will break my law, and I think I'll get the INT. Oh, wait a minute, what size is that one? 155. Because the horsepower that this one gives is quite substantial. Can it not be a front hydraulic? 
No, it doesn't have the option to have a front load, front sort of facing loader. And why not? Let's have a fire extinguisher. Right, so there we go. That's our tractors. So we've got four tractors, and it's cost us less than two hundred thousand. So that's really good. They are quite old, but they are very good tractors. This one is going to be my favourite. Obviously, this one's going to cultivate farmer. Right, so let's have a look at our tools now. So we're going to need a trailer of some form. And I kind of want it to not have the central, uh, the sort of independent hitch on it. So we I mean, maybe get the TARDIS, but not increase it to an unreal capacitor. Maybe not, actually. It still seems quite unreasonable. So something like this. An extension, 22,000 litres. Can't go wrong with that. Right, so we've got a trailer. Oh, wait a minute, we need a harvester, don't we? Oh, don't need a truck yet. So let's go with... Ooh, that's a decent truck. That's a decent harvester. How wide is it, though? That might just about do it for us. No, we don't want radio. Get a standard pipe going. So we'll go with that one then. 121,000. And let's have a look at the combinations for it. So how wide is that one? 7.6 meters. So... Yeah, you know, I don't know. I'm completely out of loss. It doesn't actually give you an indication of how big things are. I think that one should be fine. I hope. Let's have a look. Have we picked the right one? It's looking like the right size. I'm hoping it is. Right, so that's tools. Right, so now we're going to need something like a cultivator. That's 12 grand. It's two and a half meters in width. We'll have that one. Um, we'll get the roll last. Which we want this cedar. That's quite wide, actually. That's why we require 95, that's perfect. Uh, we'll go for the Matty Ferguson. Um, stone picker we'll definitely need. We'll go with this one that holds some half a bajillion litres. We'll need a mulcher. Make a tree. Then Generally low use of horsepower. And then do 160, yeah we can do that. And then fertilizer spreader. We'll go with Kabota. Wherever he may be. There he is. Excel. We'll get two of them. And we'll get two things that can hold lime and fertilizer. How can this hold lime and fertilizer? So we'll get two of these, and you'll understand soon. Right, so we've got a relatively big fleet of equipment now. We've still got to get it all the way over to the bloody farm yet, and we're not finished. Right, so we've got the fertilizer spreader. We won't need to we... yes we will, actually. We've got 22 meters. No. But then again, what's that one? 24 meters. All right, so that's fine.
Right, so 389,000 in our budget left. I mean, we've got a pretty decent fleet of equipment here. That seed is looking like it's having a bad time though. Oh, wait, it's because it wants to be transported from this direction? Ah, oh, yeah, it got a little hitch on its side. We've got all of this. I think the shop's full now. But I, in fact, I think I've got enough space to get myself a car. And we'll get just like a little pickup or something. I'm not going to opt for the TLX. Oh, but I do like that one. One thousand two hundred and twenty horsepower. Jesus. I go with the rear back, and then front grille. Uh, well, we're not going to do too much to that because it is quite expensive, and we're still going to make a lot more money from this yet. Right, so let's head on down to the farm. 158 miles per hour is the top speed. Obviously, I don't want to be touching that speed. Right, so we've made it back to the farm now, and what we're going to do is demolish everything. Which is a shame really, because it is a really, really nice, neat farm. Right, so I think that's now everything. We've got 1.8 million. So now we've got to figure out what we're going to do with this space. So I'm thinking my farmhouse can be here. And I'm thinking I want it to be like a walking farmhouse. I'll put that there. Please have a back door. I don't think it does. Oh, well, the idea was there. But it doesn't have a back door, so that's no good. So we've got our house, now we just need like a little garage or something. Just so we can place some vehicles inside there. And I want it to kind of fit that theme of the house. That's a pretty nice garage. How do we go with a free car garage? I like that one. So we'll have that one, and now we're just going to need some stuff for in here. So the plan is this section is going to be for items. So we're going to go and find the maple mod. And we're going to get some bulk sheds.
So we'll get one, two, we'll get four. There we go. So we've got one for wheat, one for canola, and these two for other bits and pieces that we might come across. And then we'll get some sheds for our equipment. So we've got four what we've got four tractors and then a bajillion other bits. So combine. Tractors. Then here we'll have three pieces of equipment. I think that should be enough. In fact, we'll put our trap. No, no, because the tractors have got to go here now, haven't they? But yeah, that'll do. And then we're going to need some silos that contain the stuff like fertilizer, seeds, and lime. Put them under containers. That's the seeds. That'll go here. Open that solid fertilizer. And did I have one for herbicide? Maybe not. But let's go over to them and let's fill them up. Right, so here we are. So seeds, 35,000 litres for 34,000. That's a really cheap. Then we've got lime, 8,000 for 35,000 litres. That's really cheap again. Solid fertiliser, that's uh, 35,000 litres. Now, I'm kind of curious as to what fodder is. I know it means animal food, but... I just don't understand why it would be in here. Silo one round fodder. Does it just do TMR? Third one extraction is pig food. Yeah, I thought so. Alright, so we can get rid of that. And I wish there was a herbicide container. But yeah, uh, I don't think there's herbicide in any of these. But we need a place to store some herbicide. So what does this hold? It looks like it holds a bit of everything, to be fair. It holds fertilizer and herbicide. So we'll put that there. And so there we go, that's how we're farm functioning. Now we've just got to transport all of our equipment over here.
His turning was not so good with the first uh, the cultivator attack to the back of him. So I need to be careful going around my fields. I don't want the crops to be destroyed. Right, so this tractor genuinely does not want to stop moving forward. It's quite ridiculous, actually. It's quite it's bashed into everything. It's making me question whether or not the cultivator was a culprit, or whether it was just the person who created this tractor didn't apply enough braking force. It's one thing to ponder with this tractor. But yeah, that's all the uh, equipment's comfortably nestled into the sheds and you know what it's a very very nice farm but we do need to buy some more land since we've got the excess money so we'll go for this production point at the top it's a very very nice place to have and then we'll just buy some more arable fields so we'll go for this little section here because they're quite nice they're quite square and you can turn them into a, one big mega field and we'll go for these biggish fields as well because you know who doesn't want a big field and then We've got these down south just to complete the package really. And then we'll get this next one because we want access to that water supply whenever we need it. And I think that's all the fields we'll need. Right, so we'll just test this little gateway here. Let's see how well it can perform with just a pickup truck. And there are things on the map called collectibles which give us an extra £50,000 per collectible. And the only way that we're actually going to be able to use them is if we've purchased the land, interacted with the land, like the selling point we've sold something there, or if we have used it to purchase things upon. So we've got this collectible because it's part of our land, and that's an extra £50,000 in our coffers. So it's always nice to have that money, but again, rather than just going around and collecting them all, as long as we've interacted with something that that particular collectible is based around, because the person who created this has put it so that every single farm selling point and production point does have a collectible to each side so let's just bomb it up here because we're going to go as fast as we can because I just want to show you how ridiculous it is at turning at full speed like you I mean I won't even hit full speed but I'll still end up going I'll still end up drifting a million miles to the left or to the right so we've hit 100 miles per hour now, we've hit the dead zone here. And we're drifting, we're drifting, we're drifting. Come on, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. Right, so he's just slammed onto a complete stop there. So that's not good. But we can soon build the momentum. And we have this big hill approaching us, so it'll slow us down a little bit. But we're coming up to our land with the... It's like a flat area of concrete next to this ion mill over here. Right, so we've come to the other collectible, so it's quite nice to collect these, it does give us an extra 50,000. So that does mean that we've got enough money to get the production point that we do want. And I'm not sure if we're going to go for the production point or get the equipment to collect it all first, but let's just double check the pricing. So there's nothing in the second hand market, but I could have purchased that Kubota Spreader, which is a bit of a shame, it would have saved me about 12 grand. But let's scroll on down. So we're going to need the actual bale of itself, wherever they may have gone to. Uh, I think they're a little bit further down. There we are. There's the balers. And we'll go for this one for 22,000. It's a nice baler. And 
I mean, it's going to produce a lot of bales, but at least it's quite cheap and effective. So there we go. So we've got our baler, and now we need a loader for it. So we could go for the Flegel or Flegel transport pack, but I think I'm going to... There should be a low loader that we can use. Aha, there it is, the small bale loader. And it is quite big, it holds a lot. But it does mean that I will need a dolly for this one. But there should be another one that we can use, and it might be up in trailers. Rather than up in the low loaders or bale loaders. Aha, there it is, it's the lizard transport pack. So we've got this one that will hold the amount that we need. Also does a myriad of things as well. So let's think about this. I mean they're quite cheap as well. But I think they're all the same size and I think they all do the same stuff. It's a conundrum. I mean I don't think there's anything else that we could potentially use for it. But no flicking through this it just all looks like grain and sort of farming stuff so I think we'll use the uh, 30 foot and it holds it's got a wider actually it's actually got a much wider working area so I think we'll go with this one and Jesus Christ that's a big is that a spreader then they've got forestry they've got the grain trailer they've got liquid tanks they got animals, animal transportation, and another. Do you think that might be another spreader, and another slurry tanker? So we're going to find a flatbed. There we are. I we want it with auto load, and I think we'll just keep it as it is. I think. Oh yes, we'll go with wood actually, because wood looks nicer, looks more self-made. And no, we're not going to go with the gooseneck, we'll just keep a regular hitch. And we'll keep it at that. That's looking good now. So we need to just jump back into the car again. Oh, in fact, you know what, we've got enough money to actually um, get ourselves the business that we wanted. So we're going to have to get the straw processing. That's under productions, under factories, and we'll just scroll across until we find the uh, straw hat on the side of the building or wherever it may be. It's around about £70,000. There we are. And just going to have it so the front of it is facing the road. So people who are driving past us, they know exactly what we are made of. And that's obviously straw. Right, so we'll head back over to the farm now. Oh, well, I mean, I'd love to, but we want to be drifting as soon as we set off. And there we go again. Right, take it easy. Right, there we go, through that gap, and then just speed our way down there. Now, them buildings over there are not our farm. I think we're just a little bit to the right of the BGA. Whenever we can see that. I think it's that building just over by the hilltop. We must avoid the tree. Ah, there's the BGA. So we're just to the right of this. I don't want to crash into that farm though. Right, well, we appear to have got our car stuck in the grass here. We're completely stuck in the mud. So that's not fun. Can we try and manoeuvre it out? No, he's just, he's just digging his hole, he's digging his grave here. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Try reversing. Nope. No, we're definitely not moving. We've completely beached it. Yeah, that's not going anywhere at all. So we'll have to try and get the tow chain with hook or something like that. Do we have anything of the kind? 
can we afford anything of the kind? Let's have a look if we've got a tow bar or anything that we can use. So I'm assuming that it'll be under miscellaneous. I got the flashlight, we've got all the other stuff. Oh, there's a tow bar. And yeah, we just did a little bit shy of the mark for the smallest one. So I'm afraid the TLX is just going to have to sit in the mud for a couple of days. Well, a couple of hours. Because we will have some grain that we can sell soon, I hope. But I think on that bombshell, we'll call it a day there. We've got quite a lot of land. We've taken over a considerable amount of stuff. We've got three fields that we can harvest. So that's always, that's going to be good. We've got some grass that we can mow as well at some point soon. And we've got some fields that are almost ready to harvest. So yeah, we've got a lot to do this month. I've got even more to do next month by the looks of things. And then the month after, it'll slow down for a little bit. But I think there's going to be three stages of this harvest season. So please like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.